Hi, I'm Pat Patterson and this is a short video to uh, show the uh, project I've been working on, an IoT project using an Arduino and sending data via uh, the mobile network and I'm also using the Jasper APIs to control it. So what you're looking at here is um, a stack of three boards. The bottom one is the actual Arduino itself. The middle one is um, a GPRS shield, so this gives us uh, mobile data capability. And the top one is a sensor board that just lets me plug in a whole bunch of sensors. Um, right now I've got uh, this one, a temperature sensor, which has got a thermistor, a uh, temperature sensitive uh, resistor on it, so that will give me temperature readings. And I've also got an LED so I can get some output from the system. Let me angle that so that we can maybe see uh, when the LED lights up. So nothing's plugged in right now. What I'm going to do is just uh, plug in the USB. Okay, and uh, I need to turn on the GPRS button by pressing the uh, power uh, or the little switch here briefly. And what we should see is the um, GPRS radio hooking up to the network and um, it often takes a couple of tries to um, join the network. Let's be patient here a minute. And you should be able to see there the um, LED blinking. What, what's happening is that the uh, every second if I go down to the, the main loop of this Arduino program at the bottom here, every second the Arduino checks for unread SMSs and it's just going to blink the LED off while it's actually talking to the, uh, when the, while the Arduino itself is talking to the GPRS board. Okay, so uh, let's, let's do something fun. What I've got is a Visual Force page here that's hooked up to the Jasper APIs. And I can actually send the uh, board an SMS to uh, tell it to begin monitoring temperature. So if I click Send now, what should happen over in Arduino land is that uh, this is the output from the Arduino here. Uh, it's received that SMS and it's starting to log data. So it's actually sending an HTTP post to Liquid, which is um, a system for gathering data from devices such as Arduinos. So we can see there it's posted a value. Um, it actually posted uh, 28.86 as the temperature. It's in Celsius. It's a warm day here in San Jose. And if I flick over to here, I can see that, in fact, yes, we do have a brand new temperature reading at 42 minutes past the hour um, and uh, it's at 28.86 so the Arduino is logging into liquid and liquid is pushing the temperature values into uh, into Salesforce and now once the data is in Salesforce we can do all sorts of fun things with it um, we can go to uh, a uh, report and maybe uh, take a look at um, the temperature readings report and here we can see the uh, min max and mean temperatures for the past uh, few days and if we uh, um, run the report again you know we could do this periodically and we'd see these values changing similarly with the dashboard uh, standard Salesforce stuff I can see that the mean of all my temperatures is 28.08 it's been a warm couple of days and I can see uh, this graph over the past couple of days, uh, that's the uh, the mean temperatures uh, there, I think. So, um, fun stuff. We can control this board uh, from Salesforce via this Jasper API, and uh, we can log data from the board into Salesforce via Liquid. Thanks for watching.